How's it going, guys? And welcome back to Mermaid the Swamp. <laughs> Swamp. Uh, we got a map, and Seitaro is alive. He's not dead. He should be in this. What are books? Or he should be over here. Oh, oh, wrong door. So where I left off, I tried to see what happened to Seitaro when he dies, and he just dies. We find a we found a map that. Oh shit. Uh, go somewhere. I can't read it. We gotta show it to Seitaro. What? The map. The boiler room? Oh wait, the boiler room. This. Hey, I went to the boiler room and I found this power generator thing. A power generator? Why is that in the boiler room? Hell, if I know, there's a water heater and plumbing and all of this, all of this other mess. Well, what all that's for? Plumbing? Well, that's curious. I'll have to check that later. What? Mermaid Swamp. Hey, Seitaro, about this mermaid legend? What do you think? You figure anything out about it? Well, this... What's this all of a sudden? Hey, you got a good head of... If nothing else, just figured you might have made something out of it. You're getting more on my nerves by the minute. The mermaid legend, huh? Well, it's weird. A mermaid here in the mansion? And there's a lot of weird bits to it. Weird bits? Legends like this are usually made either to bring people in or keep people away. Like couples who made to this lake stay together forever. Couple live in this river, so stay away. The former brings people. The latter repels them. And this mermaid legend clearly is a keeper keeper away. Talking about the curse tells you it's you it's dangerous. Yeah? What about all that? What are what are they keeping people away from? People wouldn't come here in the first place. There's a village, but not many people. Why a legend that keeps people away? Really don't want them swimming in the swamp? And why make an elaborate story about a man stealing a mermaid and getting cursed? Just saying Kappa would be fine. And there's even more of that's off. Like what? The legend says it's part of a mermaid's curse that girls vanish from the village. Why would girls vanish? If the mermaid had a grudge, wouldn't it be against the men of this family? The Suchidas? Why the unrelated village girls? You got a point, like, a bunch of them. It's clearly being fabricated for something, but what could such an utterly fake legend be for? That's what I want to know. Hmm, let's show him the map this time. The map! Hey, Sator, you got a compass or something? Eh? Why? I found this dirty old map. I want to go to this red mark, but I don't know the direction. Ah, oh, I see. Here, borrow this. A wristwatch? Oh. Oh, a watch? What the hell for? Hold it hold it level and point the hour hand towards the sun. Right in right in the middle of twelve and the hour hand indicates south. Oh oh I gotcha, thanks. I didn't get it. Oh, do you have the button? Found this. Okay, uh, uh, uh. I can use the clock to check the direction. Let's go to the front of the swamp. Okay, I guess the green big thing is the swamp. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're here. Just check the uh, somewhere map. Face this to the sun. Our hands here and south between 12 and the hour hand. Alright, the old man is to the south. And the mark on the map is east. So, that means something across the swamp? It would take forever to go around. Is there anything else I could do? The boat? The boat! Use the boat! Turn at the red button. Yes. Now I'll just start up the engine and get to the other side. Rin! Hey, Toro. What? Go to the spot on the map? I'm coming with you. Don't want you taking a dive again. Ah, shut up. Oh, we got Seitoro with us. 
Okay, let's uh, save entry too. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Forest. Forest as far as the eye can see. Do I have to check some rocks? Maybe this one? No? Do I have to go somewhere? Logs? There's nothing here, yo. Go to left. Sato. Sato, you're with me. Tell me, where should I go from here? Oh, but a brown mark. Okay, so uh, it must be one of the rocks or something. I'm guessing this is big ass rock here and gold. Oh! The ground here is weird. It makes a weird sound when you step on it. Guess I found it. Oh, great! Looks like we can remove it. I see something below. Looks like there's a ladder going down. Oh, we got Sator with us. Hey, Rin! Where's that lantern I gave you? Oh, I broke it a while back. <laughs> well, screw you two! You hold on, you hold that and follow me, alright? Right behind you, bro. Uh, uh. What's up? It's so cold all of a sudden. I'm freezing. Oh! That should help, let's go. Yeah, thanks. I'm, I'm wondering how old Satoru is. Bum, 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 Dynamite. Doesn't look locked. Let's go in. Dynamite. Dynamite! <laughs> a monster? No! It's a corpse. A woman's corpse. A corpse? Yeah, right. Not something that huge and gross. And wouldn't a corpse be rotten? It's not just a corpse. It's preserved with adipose air. Say again? It's a non-decayed corpse kept from away from the open air and germs. The body hardens up and won't fall apart. Now, now I know what that legend is all about. Wait, really? Why don't we... Why don't we believe in the legend? Huh? Because mermaids don't exist? That's right. There's no such thing as a mermaid, so we won't believe a mermaid legend. What if it wasn't a mermaid? Huh? What if it wasn't a mermaid, but just a regular woman? A man from the mountains finds a beautiful girl on the beach. Maybe a diver, maybe just swimming along. The man falls for her and adopts her to his home. He loves seeing her in the water, so he was... So he has her live in a fish tank. Always living in water makes the girl sick, and she dies. And even when her body freezes, she's not allowed out of the water. Th so that's how these corpses is made? But wait, why leave the corpse like that? And why the Eddy thing? And why are there five of them? If you left the corpse in the water for a month, it'd normally be falling apart by then. It's hard to get the right circumstances for perverse 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 preservation. But these corpses are barely damaged at all. They were purposely preserved right as they were started swelling. Wait, purposely? Purposefully? You found these old documents, right? About a medicine to stop germs from spreading. What if that was to preserve these corpses? Oh! The man loved her, even bloated the ugly like this. And ugly like this. In fact, perhaps this is what he loved the most. Love? These corpses? There's some strange people out there with some strange preferences. No one else might ever know them. Of course, they're strange fetishish. Perhaps he couldn't give the girl up after she died. He couldn't watch her rot, so he went to the last resort. But that eventually became his goal. What do you mean? The mermaid's curse takes village girls. He couldn't just have one. The pipes in this room must go to the boiler room. 
You must have set them up to continuously fill the fish tanks with the germicide. These women are all failures to the Suchita men. They adore the sight of women drowning in the water, such that they drowned themselves. Such drowned them themselves. That's crazy! These women were abducted for that? So, this is the truth of the mermaid. But I don't understand. Why let the secret be known via legend? Why create a legend to expose all the, at all? <gasps> the women! The Suchida women! Huh? Wouldn't the Suchida women know that their male relatives were all stealing girls? They loathed them, but couldn't stop it. They were frightened of being made mermaids themselves. So they made the legend to keep people away. So at least no outsider will fall victim. I see, that actually makes sense. That seems to explain the whole legend, but that doesn't seem to help us much. We don't know how to help Yuka, or get out of here. Let's go, Rin. Seems finding a map and getting out of here comes first. Huh? S Stop it! I don't know where you came from, and I can't take you back! S leave us alone already! Take me back! To the Earth! To the Earth? That's right! You're not mermaids, just normal women. You don't like le looking so hideous. All I... I'll do what I can. Uh, okay, um... Do we talk to them? She's looking with murky white eyes. She's looking with murky white eyes. And pretty much all of them are looking with murky white eyes. The stuff... Some kind of machine. A pickaxe. Yo! Dynamite. Yeah, with this... You want to blow up the carrot and fill it in? I'm sure this dynamite would do the trick. The fuse is way too short. There's no time to run. You'll be buried alive. Don't be stupid. But I don't want but I want to do something. I know I wouldn't want to look like that forever. They want to be taken back, to be saved. Please, Satoru, help me out. No! But you'll do it no matter what I say, won't you? <sighs> you never listen. I managed to extend the fuse, but it'll be ten seconds tossed before it blows. We have to get to the surface before then. Rin, you wait up above. I'm staying here. I suggested it, so I'm not leaving it to you. Fine. Run like hell when I light it, okay? Three, two, one! Running, running, run, run, running, running, run, run, running, running, run, 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 run. I'm running, running, running! Oh, that wasn't so hard. Ground caved in. That should fill up the cabin. Rin, what's up? Were you hurt? Huh? Ah, tears? They're not my tears. They're warm. They're the girls. Okay! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, I wonder what happens next. <gasps> Rin! <gasps> Old man! So, you filled it in, did you? You damn old coot! You knew all about this, and you still invited us here? Our whole family adores mermaids. If they loathe us, they cannot seek help. So, they needed someone to help them. They've been... They've long been waiting for an unknown third party like you. Old man, Mr. Suchita, tell me, 
Did you turn off the power to the house so we couldn't contact the outside? Yes, that is correct. So you were in the village all along, right? When I went there, you were there? Yes, also right. Th the hell didn't you do anything? Your family did all this. <sighs> the mermaids adore us. They had never sought their help before. But what my ancestors did was terrible. I wanted to make up for it somehow. But I knew no merm monument would save anyone. Yet, I could not police the girls. I loved them myself. So awful and repulsive. Those mermaids too beautiful for this world. You damn foggy! I'm calling the police. Stop, Rin. The stat the statue of limitation is probably up by now. And this old man didn't do it. The fog is starting to fade. I gave Mr. Yuta a map to the highway earlier. It should be easy to descend the mountains now. What are you going to do, Mr. Sutida? I suppose I'll mourn for them for the short remainder of my life. For the deluded men, the, p the departed mermaids, and above all, for my family. Yuta! Whoa, Rin! Seitoro! Listen, the engine works now! Oh, and the old man came back with a map! We can finally go home! Alright, Yuta, help me carry Yuka. We're going as soon as we can. Oh, wait! We should thank the old man. We already did. Come on, let's go. Yuka still bloated? I mean, how did she turn out like that in the beginning? Alright, much easier to see now. We'll be off the mountain in half an hour. Whoa. Yuka! She's back to normal? <laughs> Rin? Uh, I... I'm not gonna yell that. We went down the mountains to a hospital, but there was nothing wrong with Yuka. Yuka says she doesn't remember anything, just that she was cold. Oh, I can't do it manually. Yuta's buying a new car, finally. He wants to have one with a GPS, so he's taking hard at his job. But I'm iffy on traveling with him. Sidra is taking a calling to me, ape woman. I guess that's an upgrade from Yama Monkey. How mean can a guy get? <laughs> Yama Monkey. Oh, and I. <sighs> I don't have any lonely dreams about being cold in the water anymore. The end. Underwater dream. I guess that's a good ending. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, what's this? Credits! Wolf RPG Editor Version 2. Materials. First seed materials. Sukimas resources. If you are interested where the sounds and music are from, you better watch this credits then. Music egg. Effective sounds. Vita Chicht House. Onjin. Rock Pocket Sound Sounddogs.com Mao Damashi Images Ophelia 1582 John Everett Malais Milais Ophelia 1898 George Jules Victor Charles Clare Clarin Ophelia 1833 Alexandra Cabanel Ophelia 1895 Paul Albert Steck Ophelia Blah 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 oh dear. I guess Yeah okay if you one of those Oh, I want to know which pictures are from when and who made them. Here, here we go. Oh, here we go. Songs. So don't come asking me, what was the song of this? What was the song of that? Here you go. Here's the credits for that. Even though there's not much music in the game. This is what fan... Uh, if you're going to create fan games, you got to have testers. you got to have testers. <laughs> 
Oh, to try the game out and give up to your faults so you can fix it. Looking back to some other game. Oh, I'm done. I guess this is the final. Yeah, this is the final. Um, I may, should I should I do a video about the what happens when everyone dies, like when Satoru dies and the fireplace. What happens if I turn that on? Should I do make a video about that, or you just YouTube someone else do it? I I'm gonna leave you guys with a high five. I hope you enjoyed the series, and you may come up with suggestions to other RPG game that I got it. You're such a stupid girl. <gasps> I knew it. Run, run! I told you to come here. I want to have a woman talking back to me. Stay away. Shit, what do I do?